Hello and welcome to PrimeFaces CRUD Generator for NetBeans. In this video I am going to show you how to install the PrimeFaces CRUD Generator from scratch and I will also install NetBeans the IDE along the way to show you how to go to the CRUD Generator from, a, from a, an empty installation. What you see here is uh, Debian GNU Linux. It's a vanilla installation and the only thing that I have added since um, starting the recording of this video is I installed the openjdk-7-jdk package which installs the uh, compiler for, for openjdk. Um, to prove that the, the compiler is ready and working I'm going to go jump to a command line and I'm going to type in java-version which gives us the runtime version you can see that this is 1.7.0 build 79 or update 79 and the compiler is at the same version so the next thing I'm going to do is install NetBeans from scratch I have already downloaded the file as you can see above it's in my downloads folder here it is and uh, I'm going to launch this from the command line because double clicking on this file will will not work uh, I'll type in sh and then the name of the installer file and for those of you who already have NetBeans installed you can go fast forward to the part where I'm going to install the CRUD generator from source I will skip installing the Tomcat 8, but I will keep Glassfish 4.1. Now, if you're on, um, if if you have a need to install JUnit, go ahead. I'm going to skip JUnit here for this video, and I will also put the installation of NetBeans in my home directory instead of somewhere outside of my home directory to avoid the. Um, elevated permissions that I would need to install. If you're on Windows then um, just just go ahead and follow all the necessary prompts. Windows will install it somewhere under program files. I'm also leave the uh, check for updates checkbox so that we get the most latest versions of all the parts that are in NetBeans. And I'm gonna hit install and this is going to take a while. While this is installing, I'm going to head on over to the project page for the CRUD generator. And for that, I'm going to search for NBPF CRUD Gen. And the first link that shows up is the SourceForge, the SourceForge.net homepage for PrimeFaces CRUD generator. Now I usually suggest that you install just the binary package that I have here under download. Uh, it should match with whatever is the most current version of NetBeans and at the, at the time of this video it is NetBeans 8.0.2 patch 2. If you have any other implementation version of NetBeans, let's say you're still on patch 1 or you're still on vanilla 8.0.2 without the patch 2, you will have to compile the CRUD generator from source. And that's also of course true if you have still uh, NetBeans 7. Now I strongly suggest that if you're on, an, on a much older version of NetBeans, like NetBeans 7.2 or 7.1, that you upgrade because there are or there have been changes in the internal APIs that the CRUD generator uses. Uh, it, it, it uses some of the NetBeans internal APIs and some of the calls have changed in the past and I've had to make um, code changes for that and it would not comp it would not compile if you try to compile it against such an old version of NetBeans. And this, since this video is about installing from source I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to go to files here and click on sources and you're going to download the latest version which is 0.34.2-src.zip Here 
here goes that took a little while let's say file there it is it's downloaded it's a very small file I'm going to click on the file and it will open up in the um, archive manager here under the GNOME desktop if you're on any other desktop environment it might launch a different program and if you're on Windows it'll most likely use the um, the Windows internal zip unarchiver I'm going to click extract and I'm going to extract it to a new folder that I'm going to create here and I'm going to call it NetBeans Projects which is normally a folder that gets created the, f the first time you launch NetBeans but since I haven't installed it yet that folder doesn't exist. I'm going to click Extract show the files and here is the source directory for the CRUD generator. We'll close this the archive, the browser, the IDE is now fully installed. I'm going to uncheck this, hit finish, close this, and close the shell. And for easy access, I'm going to drag the um, NetBeans icon over to the launcher, to the dock. This is the first time I'm launching the IDE. I click on Help. Check for updates. Shouldn't be necessary because it has all the updates already downloaded. Click Finish. And now we're going to install the CRUD generator from source. Open. As you can see, NetBeans already defaulted to the NetBeans projects directory that I created earlier. Here's the NBPF CRUD gen source. I'm going to double click on it and it'll open up in NetBeans. There's a new security mechanism that was introduced recently in uh, NetBeans. It's asking for a master password which I haven't provided yet. I'm just going to type something in here, hit enter. Okay. So installation is really easy. You right click on the on the module, clean and build, and it'll it, basically start building your CRUD generator. Now as you can see here there are a whole lot of warnings in red which you can ignore. They are just mere war they are mere warnings but the build still succeeds. If you if you don't get a successful build at this point the chances are that some of the following has happened. You were on an earlier version of NetBeans, let's say you had NetBeans 8.0 installed and you've been upgrading using the uh, check for updates mechanism and it's been updating itself to 8.0.2 patch 2. That's all fine and good but for some reason some of the older APIs stuck with um, with the NetBeans installation and they're they're somewhere and the compiler will pick up on those older classes and and something doesn't match and the compiler will fail um, which is why I'm suggesting if you're if you if you're getting this go uh, uninstall NetBeans and download the latest version install it and uh, possibly also get rid of your cache directory on Linux back to terminal it's located under dot cache netbeans and then you will have for the IDE version another directory so if, if you wanted to get rid of the cache for 8.0.2 you would just remove this directory okay which I'm, I'm not going to do right now alright so since we have a successful build what it generated uh, is a project that you that you can run from inside the IDE by clicking um, the run button and it will open up a secondary IDE with this module installed 
but this is not what you want to be doing you know for your regular development so um, the next step will be to create a package from this module so you can right click on the crud generator project create nbm and it will package everything into one file and you'll see that it um, puts the file under your home directory netbeans projects then the location of the module build and then there's a file called org-netbeans-modules-web-primefaces-crud-generator.nbm that is the file that you want to use for installing the crud generator into this IDE your your main working IDE so for that we're going to go to um, tools plugins we're going to click on download it we're going to add a plugin we're going to go to the home of this user um, NetBeans projects crowd generator build and we will find this NB nbm file over here double click on it and now it shows up under to be installed click install next accept the license click install now it's telling you that the um, package is not signed um, which is okay you can still install it and click finish and now if you click on the installed tab scroll down you'll see that the prime faces crud generator is installed click close you can from here on out you can close this project we don't need that anymore and now you can create web applications and generate your prime faces web application from existing entities that you have created earlier and um, I, I will create another video where I'm going to step through the um, the files that the CRUD generator generates, the XHTML files, the uh, the Java classes that it generates, and so it'll be in a in a separate video. And um, I also plan on creating more videos where I'm going in depth about the different features that are now in the CRUD generator. And this project has been going on since early 2013, and I've been adding to it ever since. And with the most recent Prime Faces 5.0 libraries, we also now have mobile support. And that is, <coughs> that is something I've added recently. So the um, current version of the CRUD generator does generate a mobile application if you tell it to. Um, I will keep all that for separate videos. So keep an eye out on my channel. And uh, thank you for watching this video. And have a nice day.